FIFA Women's World Cup is approaching really fast and in this video we're going to break down entire group A. I'm going to give you a schedule when the games are going to be played and we're going to take a look at the goalkeepers playing in those games. Coming up. Sergei Claudia Kabalska here, bringing you the best tips and strategies for goalkeeping training. I'm the FA goalkeeper coach, and on this channel, you can expect weekly videos covering a wide range of goalkeeping topics. And in today's video, we're going to talk about FIFA Women's World Cup 2019 Group A. In this group, we're going to see France, which is the host for this World Cup, South Korea, Nigeria and Norway. On the 7th of June, we're going to see France versus South Korea in the opening game. I'm rooting for France, but South Korea has very experienced goalkeepers, so it will be an interesting game. On the 8th, we're going to see uh, Norway versus Nigeria. On the 12th, we have two games, Nigeria with South Korea and France against Norway. And then five days later, on the 17th of June, we're going to have another two games, Nigeria versus France and South Korea versus Norway. Let's talk about the keepers now. So at first, we're going to look at the French uh, keeper, Sarah Bohadi. She plays for Olympic Lyon and she played at multiple Euros 2005, 9, 13 and 17. She also starred in the World Cup 2015 and represented her country at the 2012 Olympic Games where they finished fourth. She also led Lyon to the uh, 2011 and 2012 UFA Women's Champions League titles. So I'm assuming that she's going to give us a really good performance and stick around because we will be analysing every goalkeeper after hopefully every game. Next we have a uh, Norway's keeper Ingrid Hjelmseth. I hope I pronounced this right. Uh, she plays for Stabik FK and after a good start to the season she tore a collateral knee ligament in June 2007 which kept her out of football for several months and she was not selected for the Norway squad to go to the World Cup tournament in 2007. Well hopefully she's feeling a lot better now, she's a very experienced goalkeeper so I really look forward to see her in this World Cup. So South Korea might be in trouble because their goalkeeper has just suffered from injury during a warm-up and the South Korea coach is not sure if she should be allowed to play but hopefully she will be fit and ready to start soon on the 7th of June. With 116 caps, Kim is the most experienced goalkeeper for Korea Republic. She has been in the national team mix since 2003 and featured in the 2003 Women's World Cup, Korea Republic's first appearance at the finals. She was the starring goalkeeper in the 2015 World Cup where Korea Republic reached the knockout stage for the first time. And finally, we're moving on to Nigeria's keeper, Tohoku Oluwehi. She left River Angels to play in Norwegian club Metkila IL. Last year she won Africa Women Cup of Nations and saved a winning penalty during penalty shootout. This is going to be interesting because Nigeria is in a group with Norway and she plays for a Norwegian club. So there is a possibility that she will meet um, players that she already knows from the club. If so, she will have quite an advantage because she already knows a couple of those players so she can read their game a little bit better. I'm rooting for France in this group but let me know in the comments below which team you're rooting for in this group and you think is going to win. Let me know, I will be checking those out and maybe we can get a nice conversation going in there. Make sure to hit the like button if you find a value out of this video and definitely subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about 
Women's World Cup 2019. We also do a lot of training videos for you. So if you want to check that out, just click the screen right here and it will give you a whole training session for you to try. And for another video from Master Girlie, just click the screen right here. I'll see you in the next video.